Hey, I saw your post about unexplained phenomenon. A new hotel has recently opened up here in Roanoke, Virginia. The building was a former business. Since I've been working here, me and a few other co-workers have experienced some very strange stuff in the building. We've been wanting to get someone in here, look at it, or do a ghost hunt, but we're not sure how the owners would feel about it. I've had several things happen to me, and I'll just tell you what I've experienced. I'll chat with co-workers later to see if they're willing to share anything that they've experienced. I'm always seeing movement out of the corner of my eyes. I've had, I've had a female voice say, hey, as I've stepped off the elevator, and I was the only person in the lobby when that would happen. I've also been cleaning again alone in the lobby, and while I was cleaning, I would hear whistling, like something out of the back of the lobby had just whistled at me or someone. I've had doors open by themselves. We've had two separate guests check out early because they claimed that it felt like something crawled into bed with them. One guest said that something crawled into bed with them, snuggled up behind them, and another guest said that something crawled into the bed and then they said it felt like it grabbed their wrists and started shaking them and said, can you hear me? I've also had a motion sensor water fountain turn on and off by itself several times for 30 to 40 seconds. I will say one coworker told me that she actually seen a figure standing in the lobby wearing an older 1800s to 1900s attire. They were there one minute and gone the next. And I would have been the next one to be gone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, can this you imagine, one, man? Yeah, God. this one's a, uh, was a popular one on the channel for a long time that brought in a bunch of, of, uh, New people from Roanoke, I guess from Roanoke. Right. They never said which hotel it was. I asked, I had a bunch of people ask in the comments. I don't know, honestly. They didn't want to say, so I didn't press on it. Right. So if you come to this one to ask, I, I still don't know. <laughs> um, I wish I did. I, I'd like to check that place out. Oh, yeah. But can you imagine, you know, being somewhere like that? And you know for a fact, you know, that you are the only one there. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you hear whispers whistling in the distance. Or especially you, that one, you know, somebody shaking you saying, can you hear me? You know what I also thought of? Remember that Whistler story from Roanoke, Virginia that I got? Oh, yeah. I wonder if that's any way connected. Hey, it's very possible. Um, know. yeah, I don't remember the details offhand about it, but we got sent another one about, uh, I think it was a phantom whistler in Roanoke, yeah. Virginia. And, um, the lady found out that there was a guy that, uh, that had lived there. I think it was maybe the sixties or something who was known for always, uh, whistling while he walked or something like that. Yeah. Then they would hear it all over the place and. Then they got yeah. doing some research on the place. Yeah. And one of the uh, folks that used to own it used to whistle all the time. Yeah. Man, that's it. Like, yeah. So that maybe it's the same whistler. Who knows? You never know. Hopefully that sounded all right and y'all loved this story. Um, definitely a popular one on here. Oh, yeah. And, uh, Guess we'll catch you in the next one.